Hey, we should walk together every day. We can have a sleepover, and we can eat the same lunch every day, and then I can help you brush your hair, and then- Yeah, I'd love to. <laughs> Welcome to My Hero Academia Dating Simulator and Visual Novel. Here we go again. If you've been on my channel for a while, you will know that I used to play a lot of My Hero Academia Dating Simulators, and they are a time. First and foremost, it's, it's the girls on the home screen, so I'm assuming already this will not be your standard Deku Bakugo Todoroki fair, but I'm excited to jump right into this, so let's- Let's, let's start a new game, shall we? Please enter a first and last name. The first name is Annie Kumax. Sure. You quirk is called water manipulation. Uh-oh. You can make water appear and control it. I am Katara, hear me roar. You can even turn into water to avoid physical attacks. That's pretty cool. When you overuse your quirk, you get dehydrated. You gotta stay hydrated, girl. Because of this, you carry a water bottle with you everywhere. Oh, Lord. Here we go with the voices again. Annie, get up. Ugh. Gah. Why are there two beds in here? Do I have a roommate? Mm, it's too early. It's not early. You're almost late, young lady. Get up. You take a glance at your alarm clock and nearly fall out of the bed. 8.30? Why didn't you wake me up sooner? Hush and get ready. You quickly get dressed and head out the door. You gotta set your own alarm clock in this life, girl. You can't uh, expect your mother to wake you up every time. You pull out your phone and look up the way to UA. This way. Oof. <laughs> like the Mario, like, oof! <laughs> you look up and see a pink-haired girl. <gasps> Mina! Oh no, I'm so sorry. It's okay, don't worry about it. This is like the same thing. Um, it's fine. It's alright, I'm fine. Oh, thank goodness. I thought you were gonna be mad. No, I'm not that type of person. I'm glad. By the way, I'm Mina Ashido. I'm Annie Kumax. It's nice to meet you, Ashido. Nice to meet you too, Kumax. Hey, we're wearing the same uniform. Oh yeah, hey, you must be going to UA then. We should walk together. Is this like a girl dating sim? Are we gonna- <gasps> She grabs your hand and starts to lead you to UA. Does that mean I can date Momo? Isn't this like super cool? We're gonna be heroes. Um, I wanna be a villain, so. Yeah, I can't wait to get into it. I wonder what we'll be doing. I don't know. I wanna wear my hero costume though. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> what a conversationalist I am. Ah, I'm getting so excited just thinking about it. Same, let's go inside. To sit down, you do the same, but as you're about to, you hear some yelling. <gasps> okay, by the way, I don't, this game is not done yet. Uh, there was a disclaimer that I skipped over, but the game is not complete, so not all the sprites are in the game yet. Don't put your legs on the desk. Don't you think that's disrespectful towards your classmate? Uh oh. Oh, Lord, here we go. With this voice again that I do. No, as a matter of fact, I don't think so. Which middle school are you from anyway? You two bit extra. A private ahem. I'm from Somei Junior High School. The name's Tenya Ida. Somei, well, aren't you in it late? Seems I've got a reason for <laughs> No swearing, Bakugo. Man, I don't give a hoot. I'm staying out of this. You decide to stay out of it. They continue arguing arguing until a green-haired boy enters the room. Ida talks to the boy when a ground burnt. I can't even read. You sit down into your chair and wait for the teacher to come. You're gonna be hunting for buddies. Do it elsewhere. Is this who I think it is? <gasps> Hello, hello. Uh, who the heck is this guy? Hmm, it took you a lot. Eight seconds to quiet down. The grandpa voice. Life is short, kids. You little whippersnappers. You're all locking in common sense. Lacking, I mean. When you get old, you lose your ability to read. I'm your homeroom teacher, Shota Aizawa. Pleasure to meet you. Kind of looks like a hobo. <laughs> he pulls out a blue, white, and red uniform with the letters UA on them. Wear these immediately and then shove off to the PE grounds. He hands everyone a uniform and walks away. I guess I'll change into this then, right here in the middle of the classroom. You enter the locker room and change into the uniform. Hey, Kumax. You look over and see Ashido. What do you think we'll be doing? I don't know, maybe like a get to know the class thing. Ooh, that would be cool. But I'm not sure about the uniform. Hmm, maybe like a fashion show? Uh, <laughs> shut up. Uh, I don't think that's the case. Who knows? Maybe, um, I don't know what else it could be. Probably something like running. Anyway, let's get out of here. I don't think Mr. Aizawa likes people who are late. You're right. Quirk apprehension test. <gasps> Ururaka. What about the ceremony and the guidance counselor meeting? If you want to be heroes, you don't have time for frilly niceties. You all understand the school's reputation for freedom on campus. Well, that freedom goes for us teachers, too. Softball pitch. Standing long jump, 50 meter dash, eating sandwiches. These are all activities you know from middle school, naturally. <laughs> oh. He turns to the blonde haired guy. Oh, please don't make me do this voice again. Bakugo! How far can you pitch a softball in middle school? You guess the blonde guy was Bakugo. 
67 meters. Mr. I oh, Mr. Aizawa throws a softball at Bakugo and points to a circle on the field. Try using it. Try using your quirk this time around. As long as you don't leave the circle. Yeah, this is from the anime. We already know what's going to happen. He's going to blast it. Winds up throws the ball. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Why would you shout something like... Oh, Yay! Why would he shout something like that? Before anything else, one must know what they're capable of. Mr. Aizawa shows the class a small device that he had another... Day. Yes, yes, yes. Um, that... Oh, okay, if I say that was awesome, we're gonna get points with Bakugo. I don't really give a hoot about him, so I'm gonna stay silent. That was cool looking, but I'm not gonna say it out loud. This is a rational metric that will form the basis of your hero foundation. Awesome, that looks so fun. Uh, new voice. 705 meters, that's insane. We can really use our quirks all we want? That's so sweet. It looks fun, you say? So, you were planning to spend your three years here having a good old time? What happened to becoming heroes? Alright then, in that case, new rule! The student who ranks last in total points will be judged hopeless and will be instantly expelled! Expelled? Is he crazy? Our freedom means we can dispense students as we please. Welcome to the Department of Heroics! This is our first day, even if it weren't, this is just too unreasonable. Natural disasters, massive accidents, ego mad villains, all mad lads! If you were counting on a friendly chat at the local McDonald's after school, that's too bad. Does McDonald's exist in the My Hero Academia realm? I'm not sure. From now on, for the next three years, all you can expect from your life at UA is one hardship after the next! This is Plus Ultra. I expect you to overcome these trials and climb to the top. You got that? Yeah. Uh-huh. Now then, that was the demonstration. Time to step up to the plate. First up, is the 50 meter dash. First up is Yao Yorozu and Kumax. Now is my chance. Now's my chance. I'll give you a few minutes to get ready. What should I do? Maybe I could propel myself with some water just on my hands. I gotta impress this woman. You feel a tap on your shoulder. You turn and look at the girl next to you who you're guessing is Yao Yorozu. Yes? You look nervous. Don't be so worried. I'm sure you've got this. You really think so? Of course, you seem pretty capable. I'm sure you'll do great too. Thank you, let's do our best. Oh, she's blushing. All right, get ready, you two. You get ready and get into the running stance. On your marks, get set, go, yeet. You make water jets appear in the palms of your hand to push you forward. As you pass the finish line, the robot tells you your score. 9.36 seconds. That's not too bad, it's better than middle school. Then Yao Yorozu crosses the finish line. 7.3 seconds. Nice job. Thank you, Kumax. No problem. All right, next runners. I don't give a hoot. <laughs> Ooh, Robbie. A girl with green hair did the same. You lined up and got ready to run. On your marks, get set, go. A cloud of smoke momentarily fills the vision. 3.4 seconds. When it clears, you see Ida had passed the finish line of... I feel like he would be a little bit faster than that, but whatever. Then a few seconds later, the frog girl gets past the finish line too. 9.58 seconds. I should probably congratulate one of them. Only one of them, though. You can't be like, good job, guys. Um... I'll just congratulate Froppy because, you know. You walk up to the green-haired girl and tap her shoulder. Hey, you were pretty awesome just now. She gives you a small smile. Thank you. I saw your race a few minutes ago. You are awesome too, Ribbit. Oh, I'm Annie Kumax. Nobody asked. I'm Suyu Asui, but you can call me Sue. Nice to meet you, Sue. I hope we can become good friends. I hope so too, Ribbit. Where's Saro? Just scream that in her face. <laughs> Alright, enough talking. Next group, come on up. Brown haired girl walks up along with a blonde kid with a large tail. The brown haired girl taps her shoes and shoulder. Wonder what she's gonna do. Alright, and Mark's good set, go! They both run. Where, where's, where's the other boy? <laughs> we didn't draw him in yet! 9.49 seconds! The guy with the tail passed the finish line first. The brown haired girl passes second. She presses her fingers together. She reads the finish line. 7.15 seconds! You walk up to her and give her a smile. Hey, you did pretty good. You really think so? So far, I have the lowest score. Don't worry about it. I'm sure you'll do great. Thank you. I'm Ochiko Uraraka. I'm Annie Kumax. Nice to meet you, Uraraka. Nice to meet you too, Kumax. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Next pair. Ashido and the blonde kid walks up. Does he have sparkles around him? Oh, they're talking about a um, belly button lad. You shake your head and try to pay attention. The blonde kid turns around and places his hands behind his head. What is he doing? Is he going to run backwards? Ha ha ha. Everyone's been so arseless about it. You should use your quirk. 
On your marks, get set, go! Like this. A laser shoots out of a belt that he was wearing, pushing him forward. But a few seconds later, the laser stops shooting and he falls on his booty. He quickly gets up and shoots it again. Ashido is the first one across the line. 5.38 seconds. A moment later, the blonde kid crosses. 5.51 seconds. If I keep shooting for longer than one second, my tum-tum will start to hurt. Does anyone have any cheese? Seriously, what's up with this kid? You smile and walk up to Ashido. Hey, nice job. I am like, really, I don't give a hoot about these boys, apparently. Thanks, Kumax. It was pretty easy. Seems like it. I wonder how the other tests will go. I'm sure we'll both do fine. Yeah, you're right. Next! The next ones were Bakugo and some green-haired kid. Oh, there's Deku. There he is. He finally makes his appearance. Green-haired guy looks so nervous. Marcus got the the his bit blast blast turbo four plus seven plus two. Oh, the Deku sucks. All right, next onto the group test string. Thank you. Oh, there he is. It's my boy. Can I date Taro? Is that an option? In the corner of your eye, you see the green-haired guy. He looked like he was having a panic attack. Man, I hope that guy's okay. All right, next test. Next few tests go by pretty quickly. Soon it's time for the ball throw test. It was Uraraka's turn to throw. Hey, good luck! Thanks, Kimax! Uraraka throws the ball, it floats off until it goes out of view. Mr. Aizawa shows the class her distance. Infinity! Whoa, Uraraka's amazing! Once again in the corner of your eye, you see the green haired guy looking even more nervous. Take a chill pill! Should I talk to him? I'm gonna leave him alone. Like, I don't need that kind of energy in my day. I should probably just let him do what he needs to. All right, next person. The green-haired guy gets handed the ball as he walks up. He winds up and gets ready to throw. I don't know why this image makes him look so short and stumpy, but it do. He pitches the ball. 46 meters. The guy looked up in shock. He starts to mumble something until Mr. Aizawa interrupted him. I erased your quirk. You're dead now. Get out of my house. Anyway, how did someone like you manage to enter this academy? Mr. Aizawa's hair floated up and the scarf from around his neck followed. I'm kind of skipping through this, by the way, because this happened in the show, and if you're a fan of the show, you probably know what's going on right now. You erased it? And those goggles? Oh my god, you are the erasing hero eraser head! Eraser head? I've never heard of him. From what I've observed, you can't rate in your quirk's full power, meaning you can't use it efficiently at all. Mr. Aizawa continues to talk to him until his hair floated back down. The green haired guy winds up again and goes to throw the ball. He throws a softball. It shot into the air and flew far away. He took a closer look and saw that his pointer finger was broken. Oh no. Holy crap, is it okay? Oh, the gang's all here. You finally got a record suitable for a hero. His finger is swollen. It reminds me of the entrance exam incident. What an odd quirk. That throw broke his finger? Is is he okay? Uh! <laughs> <laughs> you okay? You okay? You need a Tums? You need a back rub? Bakugo starts to run toward the middle of the circle. <laughs> what is this, Deku? Explain now. What? As Bakugo ran, Mr. I'm just picturing him running like a literal ape, like on like all fours. As Bakugo ran, Mr. Aizawa wrapped a scarf around him. Gah, what's with this cloth? I can't. It's my special capture weapon. A steel wire alloy woven with Carmen 905 Yeah, that's what it's made of. Jeez, don't make me use my quirk so much, it gives me serious dry eye. We're wasting time, prepare for the next trial! After that, the class continues with the rest of the tests. None of them were that eventful. Okay, cool, I like skipping past this stuff. Time to present the results! You scan the list to find where you placed. Fourth place isn't so bad, that's really good, dude! Oh yeah, that whole expulsion thing was a lie. It was a logical ruse to pull out all your best performances. What? He looks like he's about to sock you. Um, wasn't that a little obvious? I'd have to agree with Kumax on this one. Yeah, wouldn't it be strange if a teacher expelled one of their students on the first day? Yao Yorozu nods her head. And, right, yeah, with that, it's over. Get out of here. Your curriculum sheets are in the back of the classroom, so give them a once over. You head back to the changing room to get back into your normal uniform. Hey! I don't want to talk to you, girl, I'm sorry. Kumax, I need to ask you something. Hmm? What is it, Ashido? Well... The rest of the girls were talking, and... All of us want to have a sleepover to get to know each other. <gasps> oh, well, well, well. <laughs> a sleepover, you say? Yes, Ribbit. It's a way for all of us to get to know each other and become friends. We were hoping you would come. Really? I'd love to go. I like how I didn't have an option. Great! We've already talked to the rest of the girls and got their numbers. Can we have yours? Yeah! You write down your number for the... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> 
You write down your number for the girls and give it to them. We'll text you this weekend to schedule a time. Right. Oh boy. So sleepover. After you're done changing, you head back to the classroom. Hey, aren't you cute? Who is this? Oops. Oh, great. Uh-huh, are you talking to me? Of course, cutie. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. All the danky stands are coming for me. Cutie? Yep, what do you say we go out together? We can go to a nice cafe near your I'm sure someone as sweet looking as you would love sweet treats. I, uh, I would give him the surfer accent, but I already gave that to Kirishima, so sorry about it. What do you say? I'm not really interested, Danky. I'm sorry. I got something to do. Uh, sorry, my answer's no. He sighs before giving me a small smile. Can't say I didn't try. Bye. Check love meter. Wait a minute. What is this? <gasps> oh, heck! Look at all these characters. Okay, we got Mina, Tsu, Ocheko, Momo, Tenya, Danki, Ejiro, Shoto. Where's Todoroki? Bakugo, Izuko, and Shinso. Shinso is in this game? Y'all, I know some of you like this man. Oh, heck. I'm gonna go for Momo. Let's go. Let's go, boys and girls. Probably mostly girls. <laughs> Soon class was over and it was time to head home. Hey, Kumax. You look behind and see Ashido. Kumax, wanna walk home together? Yeah, sure. You let Ashido catch up to you, and you start to walk together. What did you think of class? It was pretty cool seeing everyone's quirk in action. Yeah, I wonder what we'll be doing tomorrow. Maybe we'll get to wear our costumes. Oh, that would be awesome. We'll finally get some real hero stuff. I bet that we'll see All Might tomorrow. I hope so. Well, this is my place. Thanks for walking with me. No problem. Hey, we should walk together every day. And then, and then, we can have a sleepover, and we can eat the same lunch every day, and then I can help you brush your hair, and then- Yeah, I'd love to. <laughs> Why are they pushing her on me? I don't want it. Sweet, I'll come be here tomorrow and walk with you. Yandere Mina. All right, see you tomorrow. Bye. Mom, I'm home. Annie, finally you're home. I have a few errands for you to complete. Get them done right away. But I'm kind of tired. I think I'm going to go read a book to relax. I've been at school all day. Don't you dare. Get those errands done. I won't say it again. You sigh and change out of your uniform, then get your shoes back on. All right, I'll be back in a few. Man, I was hoping to relax. Guess I can do that after some shopping. This is going to take forever. You start to pick out some groceries and check off the list. An hour later... That took longer than I expected. I need to head home before it gets too dark. Get home and set the groceries in the kitchen for your mom. Where have you been? At the store. <laughs> Bro! Uh, getting groceries? It took you that long? How dare you worry your mom- I don't like her. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to take that long. She heavily sighs and shakes her head. You're forgiven. Now head up to your room, young lady. I'll call you down if I need you. Right. That went well. Huh? You pick up the phone and see a message from an unknown number. Hey! This is Kumax, right? I'm assuming it's Mina. It's Yandere Mina. Yeah, who is this? Dude! Guys, I'm calling it right now. She's a Yandere. I'm scared. It's Ashido, silly. You gave me your number, remember? Ashido, I didn't expect you to text me so soon. Well, I was just so excited about talking to you that I wanted to text you right away. Well then, why don't we talk for a little bit? I need to relax. Relax? Did something happen? Or was class really stressful? Should I tell her what happened? No, I shouldn't worry her with it. It's not that big of a deal. It was just class. Well then, I'm here to cheer you up. You giggle to yourself and watch the screen as you wait for Ashido to reply. What do you call a fish with no eyes? Huh? <laughs> you stare blankly at your screen. What? Did she just... <laughs> get it? <laughs> that was cute. Ashido, did you... Yep. Bet that put a smile on your face. You shake your head and try not to smile. I'll admit, I smile a little. <laughs> Good. There's no need for frowns here. Your name, I need you. My mom doesn't even know my name! Dude, she's rude and she doesn't even remember what she named me. I, <laughs> I don't know about this lady. Hey, my mom needs me for something. I'll walk with you tomorrow. Okay? Yep, you better not forget. I won't. Bye. You place your phone on the desk and go to your mom to help her out. I cannot believe she just called me your name. I don't like that one bit. You help your mom out, even if it was for, even if it was a little awkward, and then head back to your room. You read a book to pass the time. Soon it's time to go to bed. Ah, uh, time for bed. Your mind wanders to what your mom said earlier. Did she seriously call me your name? Are you kidding me? Why does mom have to be so harsh with me? I'm really doing my best. I guess it's not enough. Let's just hope tomorrow's better. 
You sigh and close your eyes for the night. Ah, oh, good night, world. It was nice knowing you. What? Oh, right. It's cool. You get up and change into your uniform. Mom, I'm heading off to school. All right, don't fail. You better get back on time or we're gonna, I'm gonna smack you. Love you too. Kumax. Hey, Ashido. Hey, Kumax. How was your night? Are you feeling less stressed? Yep. After I talked to you, I definitely felt better. Good. I'm glad. We should probably go to school. You're right. You and Ashido walk to school and head to the classroom. Hey, what do you think we'll be doing today? I don't know. I just hope we don't have another test to take. You and me both. Mr. Aizawa's a little scary. Do you think that we'll have heroics class today? Oh, I really hope so. I am so ready to wear my costume. You giggle. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> Alright, class, get to your seats. You and Ashido take your seats and listen to Mr. Aizawa. The class follows normal curriculum until noon. At noon, it was lunchtime. <gasps> Can I choose who I sit by at lunch? Let me sit by Momo. Man, this food is so good. I know, right? It's so cheap, too. <gasps> Friend. It's amazing, Ribbit. <gasps> My sugar baby. It's quite delicious. Hey, I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'll be back in a minute. You get up from your seat and head towards the bathroom. This must be it. You do your business and then head back out into the hallway. You turn around the corner and bump into something. <gasps> Uh-oh. Oof. Oh, no. <laughs> it's Cotton Candy McGee. Hey, you all right? Huh? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. He offers you a hand. I really thought that said Rose for a second. I got excited. Um, I'm going to take it. I don't want to be rude. He's going to smite me if I do. <laughs> you take his hand and stand up. Sorry for bumping into you. I didn't mean to. It's whatever. I'm Annie Kumax. I don't care. <laughs> Hitoshi Shinso. Nice to meet you, Shinso. Nice to meet you too, I guess. What class are you in? I don't think I've seen you around. 1C, the general studies. Oh, I'm in class 1A. I'm from the hero course. Ho ho ho! Is that so? You must be pretty good to be in the hero course. What did you score in the entrance exams? I got fifth in the practical. What about you? Doesn't matter. I'm still in general studies. Well, I bet you have a pretty cool quirk. Not really. It's very... He mumbles something else under his breath. What was that? Nothing. A man of many words. <laughs> he leaves without another word. Well, that was strange. You head back to the lunchroom and finish your lunch. Then it was time for basic heroics class. I am. Oh, what does he get? It's coming through the door like a normal person. Whoa, it's All Might. I can't believe it. All Might's really going to be teaching us. Foundational hero studies for this class. We'll be building up your hero foundation through various trials. Let's jump right in with this. All Might holds up a small card that says battle on it. The trial of battle. And to go with your first battle, he presses something on a small remote and cases open up from the wall. We've prepared the gear we had you send in requests for to match your quirks. <gasps> our costumes, our costumes. This is so cool. I'm going to wear my costume. Get changed and we'll be ready to go. Everyone gather at Grounds B. The grab you, the grab you. What? The grab you bring into the battle training field is vitally important, boys and girls. I don't know. Whatever. And don't forget from here on out, you're all officially heroes. You get up from your seat and head to the locker room. She is starting to freak me out. I don't know about you guys, but I'm like, I'm a little mean it out at this moment in time here. Isn't this exciting? We're going to be doing battle training and we get to wear our costumes. I know. I can't wait. This is going to be dope. I mean, awesome. I would say dope. Anyway. I can't wait either. I wonder what exactly we're doing. Like, are we fighting each other or fighting robots like the entrance exams? Good question. I kind of hope that we'll be fighting robots. I don't want to be fighting our classmates. Me too. You want to fight robots? I think it'd be cool to battle our classmates. Well, it would be pretty cool. I just don't want to hurt anybody. Ashido sighs and shakes her head. I love hurting people. I mean, you're going to have to fight villains, you know? <laughs> Questionable. Okay. I know that. I, I just don't want to hurt my classmates. Neither do I. Well, we're not going to find out staying here. Let's just get changed and head out. Okay. You change into your costume and head to Grounds B. Whoa, this place is huge. Let's see what you're made of, newbies. It's time for the trial of battle. Isn't this awesome, King Max? Yeah, I can't believe it. I think this is pretty amazing, too. I wonder what we'll be doing. Me too, we're probably gonna get to fight some fake villains. That'd be so cool. Most acts of villainy are committed indoors. 
why any villain with intelligence is lurking on the shadows, in the shadows I probably meant to say. For this test you'll separate into villain and hero groups for a two on two team battle. What about foundational training? This is foundational training. Oh, I do not see it. I am not looking. So how do we determine who wins and loses? Look how small he looks. He looks so short compared to this queen. Is it okay if we just blow them away? Shut up, Bakugo. Is there a threat of expulsion like with Mr. Aizawa's exercise? If we're separating into different groups, what would be the best way to do so? Doesn't this cape look- <laughs> Doesn't this cape look killer on me? <sighs> I, I can't hear you if you all speak at once. For this training, we'll have some villains guard a nuclear weapon they intend on deploying. The heroes must stop them in their nefarious schemes before it's too late. You get team I. Who am I with? You feel a tap on your shoulder. Please don't be Ashido. Okay. It is a blonde guy with a large tail. Ojito! Are you team I? Yeah, are you? Yeah, I'm Mash Mashirao. I've never seen his other name before. Ojito! I'm Annie Kumax. Nice to meet you, Ojito. Same here. Team B will be the heroes and Team I will be the villains. Villains, baby, let's go. Looks like we're up, Ojiro. Soft boy, it's time to be villains. Yeah, let's do our best. You nod in agreement. What do you think our plan should be? Punch him. Stab him in the foot. Uh, Shoji's quirk definitely has something to do with his arms. And Todoroki has- Oh god, we're about to get rocked. And Todoroki has something to do with ice because of his costume, I'm guessing. What exactly do we do with that, though? I don't know about Shoji, but Todoroki might be able to freeze us in place, so we should be extra careful around him. Right. Whoop. Well. <laughs> what? Alright, you go seduce him. I'll stay here. <laughs> what the? Ice? This must be Todoroki, but we're a few floors up. How did he reach us all the way up here? He must be really strong. Kumex, can you get us out of here? Yeah. You focus on your body, visualizing yourself turning into water. A few seconds later, you're out of the ice thanks to your water. Ah, I don't know about that. I'm not sure how to get you out, though. If I try to break the ice, I might hurt you. You hear sharp footsteps enter the room. You quickly turn around and see Todoroki standing there. Sup? I didn't expect for you to get out. You furrow your eyebrows together and move into attack. He swiftly moves to the left, dodging your fist. Yeah, I tried to punch Todoroki. What about it? You form some water on your hands until it's as sharp as a blade. You send it towards Todoroki, cutting a part of his sleeve off. Oh, heck. It also moves him backwards, his body almost hits the door frame. Todoroki sends a wave of ice towards you, trying to freeze you in your place. You dodge it and try to move in closer, successfully hitting him a few times. He let out a soft grunt, and you gets back up again. Just give up. Your struggle is in vain. I just hit you. What are you talking about? You give up. I would never. Heroes don't give up. Ever. So I won't either. Then it becomes a show of him sending walls of ice your way, and you trying to hit him with your whip-like arms. You go in for another kick, but he just barely dodges. It seems like you're giving Todoroki a hard time. You made one more move. You quickly raced to Todoroki to get a good hit in, but when you're about two meters away from him, you tripped on some ice, making you faceplant in the ice covered ground. And then you land on him, and you have one of those awkward anime moments where you're like, uh, I'm sorry I fell over you. Um, um. Please tell me that's what's about to happen here. Oof. Oh my god. I'm gonna scream. Hero team wins! You groan at the loud noise in your ear. Ah, uh, Ojiro, did we lose? Have you seriously been standing there watching and absolutely not helping me that entire time? Yeah, that's exactly what happened. But you did pretty good. Mm, but I fell halfway through. Don't worry about it. You did your best. Let's head back. Um, developer, if you're watching this right now, you should put in a scene where you trip and fall and you land on Todoroki and it's one of those awkward anime moments. Thank you. You did awesome, Kumax. Uh-huh, but I lost. So, you were cool against Todoroki. I was sure he was going to win at first, but you almost gave him a good run for his money. Almost? I did give him a good run for his money. You really think so? Yeah. <gasps> the gang's all here. I think you did quite good as well, Kumax. Me too. You did great, Ribbit. Yeah, you were so cool. Hug them. Thank you. I'm just going to thank them. I don't want to get too chummy with these folks. Mina's going to take it the wrong way and stab me in my sleep. Aw, thanks, guys. That makes me feel so much better. Of course. Oh, of course. Yeah, we're friends now, right? Yeah. All right, let's get on to the next match. The rest of the class takes a turn going against each other until everyone's done the exercise. Soon, it's the end of the day. Hey, Kumax. You turn your head and spot a red-haired boy. Yeah? 
I'm Ijiro Kirishima. I wanted to introduce myself to you. I thought you were pretty awesome in class today. Really? That's so nice of you. Yeah, you almost beat that Todoroki guy. It must have been tough. You scratched the back of your neck. Well, it was pretty hard, though I fell flat on my face in the end. Don't worry about it. You were awesome. Thanks, Kirishima. That means a lot to me. No problem. Well, Ashido's waiting on me. I'll see you tomorrow. Right. Bye. Hmm, Ashido's not here. Guess I'll wait. The sun was starting to set, and you get worried about Ashido. <sighs> Sorry, Kumax. I got held back for a bit. Let's walk. It's all right. Let's just walk home, okay? Yeah. Yeah. The two of you walked together for a bit, then split up to go to your separate houses. Soon you reach your home. Back to your abusive mother. Ugh, finally home. You change out your uniform before going to bed for the night. And then your mom throws a shoe at you! Wait, weren't we supposed to have a slumber party sometime? Or is that this weekend? Time for school. You sigh and get out of bed. You put on your uniform and head out of your room. Bye, mother! <laughs> Don't fail! I won't. Good lord. You wait around looking for Ashido. Hey, I'm so sorry about yesterday. I got caught up in something for class. It's okay, things happen. Yeah, thanks for understanding. How was your night? And you know what? We're gonna find out how my night was next time. Um, let me know if you guys are interested in watching more of this. I feel like it's starting a little slower, but um, maybe things will get a little spicier once we get closer to somebody. Let me know if you want to see more, and otherwise have a good rest of your day, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!